MJP. So, who? <laughs> Hi and hello. So, we have this copper problem. It isn't a problem, it is really easy. Because, first of all, we have it also in aluminum. It's not that strong, but it's there. So, in copper, Jesus, guys, what you under don't understand is this is breaking force. Actually, the name is repellent force. So easy. Because if you see on this pipe, all the shit stops here. So, the stopping curve, if they have a graph, So, so when this is the electromagnetic force, and this is the repellent force. <sighs> yeah? Anyway, my handwriting is shit, whatever. So, then you have on this side, the resistance from starting to maximum power of resistance. Like that. Start slow. Drop. This stupid other force, Euclidean force, and we see this, it's stopping right away here. It's here, it's right away the stop. If it's an electromagnetic force, it would need and it would dissipate heat and everything. But Fuck okay. it, people don't believe me anyway. So this is the other one. Oh, interesting, it's actually the copy of the other one. Huh? And here we have a square, in here, and here a square. In here. So what is not natural on this? We just don't know about this anymore. Why should you any hair for that? But the thing is, the force is there and we can use it. And the easiest way to use it on the beginning to make a, make a fucking break. Right? So the disc and to put the magnet on it. <laughs> oh yeah, then the magnet will get kaput. You will, will destroy itself. Yeah, funny it is. When this is spinning, you can't put the magnet on it. No fucking way. I mean, I have to watch this on the video what this was because that was. What the fuck is <laughs> I mean, this is running? Or what? <laughs> yes, this is very interesting. What this fuck is doing? Anyway, you see, repellent force, electromagnetic force, completely opposite. But we can use this. And actually, NASA. talks about uh, they have a new shit going on, an electromagnetic force, whatever, and it looks like this, like a teal drop. And that's how they shoot to the space then. I mean, it's the theoretic concept, sorry, it's just, no. Yeah, enough to get, uh, you know, to go to Sweden and say, uh, look at me. Anyway, whatever. This is the stupidest way to use this force, by the way. But, you know, NASA, it's uh, they're just deceiving us. Anyway, it's fucking there, you can use it. The first step will be the brakes, but you can make clutches and... What you can make with that, it's so funny, because... There is aluminium, you have copper, and you have a third thing. And I don't even say what it is. But it's on the third one, it's the strongest force, repellent force. 
And you know, this is uh, electrical connecting, this one is electrical, but the third one, nearly not. So, you know, with the electromagnetic shit, what they're talking about, I don't even mention their fucking name, uh, it don't work. So, sorry, <laughs> new law, repellent force by Michael Pucher. It's not from me, I just found it again. Founded in 2024. I found it a long time ago, but anyway, it's there, we can use it. I don't give a shit to do it because I want to have it because this will change the world together with the, you know, they call it thunderstorm generator. What's the stupidest thing is to call it because nobody understand what they mean with it. They have to first say, yeah, do remember when you go after a thunderstorm out, the air is clean, everything is fucking nice. Yeah, because the thunderstorm by nature clears the air. So when you get the exhaust, huh, you have the heat and, you know, uh, uh, vibrations. You can channel that and use that to clean up the exhaust because it breaks up. Uh, there's plasma, plasmoids, they imploding itself, and for therefore they're going through the loop, and and to the loop can only be clear stuff, you know, pure stuff. So you get pure oxygen, you get pure whatever. So, but when you make this thunderstorm generator to the real one, what it can be, and I know how. It's really easy actually because they forgot about something what's happening in a thunderstorm. So I don't know, a lightning for instance, stupid fucks. So anyway, when you put some lightning in there, it's even better because then it will split up also water vapor in two things. <laughs> well, what would it be? Uh, O2 and what other? Yeah, whatever. I don't know, but could it be that we can run actually the engine with the water and clear this little bit out because there's some oil in there, whatever, you let it through the system. So actually the engine will make the air cleaner as it is. So what the fuck? We have two things. We have now <sighs> braking without, you know, the pads you never have to change. You have clutches, you have everything in the car, but it pollutes it, will change with that. And then you have clear air because the engine will be changed. But that's the first step. We're using the stuff we have for the first step. We have engines, we have this and that and that in the whole world. So we don't have to, you know, oh, that's the new thing and everybody have to do the new thing. No, we can use the old stuff. We just have to adjust it. That's the way to go, stupids. And then second step is free uh, but I can't tell this because it's already oh it's impossible but the first step is already free energy you stupid fucks and uh, sorry I give up on the, on the public because sorry you don't get it so fuck you <laughs>